Foundation. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jim Mean, former moderator of the Uniting Church Synod of New South Wales and the ACT, very much into interfaith dialogue, very much into social justice, and I am guilty that I'm never home. I'd like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respects to the elders, past and present. I'm also one of the members of the Affinity Advisory Board. There are a number of us here today. It's a pleasure to work with Affinity. I've been doing that since the Cronulla riots, uh, where I got introduced to Affinity, and it has been a journey where they are providing significant leadership to the interfaith movement in Australia. Affinity itself started in 2000, and uh, I know one of the founders is here. He's known to my family as our interfaith son-in-law. And that's a long story, which I won't bore you with. But Affinity has done much to promote multiculturalism and foster multiculturalism, intercultural, cross-cultural activities by building bridges. And in the building of the bridges, it's actually helping Australians to understand it for us Diversity is a gift from God. It's a gift to treasure. It's a gift to actually encourage its continuity at the same time learning how to respect each other's point of view rather than to admonish, criticise or otherwise. I'd like to now introduce you to today's facilitator, Gillian McPhee. Uh, we go back quite a long way, but I won't say how long because she might think I'm too old. Never. Yeah, never. Never. I've been reprimanded for being old. Uh, but after a successful and fulfilling senior executive career, mainly in health and particularly in aged care, which is where our contacts were for quite a few years, she now combines a busy consulting role with board work and governance. She's held senior executive leadership roles in New South Wales government departments, including the Premier's Housing New South Wales, Ministry of Health and Community Services, Department of Community Services and Department of Ageing, Disability and Home Care. Gillian is committed to a lifelong learning and has used this to hone the hard and soft skills of leadership. She's a fellow of the Australian Institute of Company Directors with tertiary qualifications including an executive MBA, postgraduate qualifications in urban studies and an honours degree in social work. So she's not an idle person. I'd like now to introduce Gillian to introduce our speaker for the day. Thank you for that, uh, that introduction. And I too would like to uh, acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and I'd also like to pay my respects to the people involved with Affinity Intercultural Foundation. I have to say I didn't know a lot about uh, the foundation until I was invited to do this and when I read about you and your motivations and think about what we're here to talk about today, um, discrimination and not treating people with respect and enable them to have equal opportunity in life and to build understanding, you know, whatever the issue is, is really something that means people don't realise um, their potential and I think it's a great credit um, to you in terms of the work that you've been doing. Um, as Jim alluded to in his introduction, ageing and aged care has really been, uh, I guess you would say, at the core um, of my working life, even though I now work in a range of different areas, in, in broadly in human services. Um, I started my working life out at Willoughby Council uh, as a community social worker, and uh, I was actually behind the Doherty Apartments there, you know, the first vertical village. That was my first relationship with the Uniting Church because we convinced the Housing Commission of the day to partner with the Uniting Church and the Council <coughs> to do something quite revolutionary uh, in terms of trying to move away from nursing homes 
you know, and actually build good, affordable accommodation for older people and deliver the support to the person, not to the building. And your, your reference to too old, never, too old, never, was actually the slogan we used for the first public awareness campaign we used around age discrimination when I worked um, as an advisor to the then Premier of New South Wales, Nick Greiner. And it was in his time and also when John Fay was the Premier that we were able to actually have compulsory retirement references moved removed from New South Wales legislation. We were the first state to do that. And also age included as a grounds of discrimination um, in the Anti-Discrimination Act. So that's just a, a short um, snapshot. There's been other things that have happened, but it's a, a very important link for me in terms of why I was so happy to be involved uh, in terms of introducing Kay um, and the work that she's doing um, in terms of, uh, of uh, age age discrimination. Before I do introduce um, Kay, though, I would like to uh, acknowledge uh, there are some important people who are among us today, and I would like just to um, draw attention to them, if I may. Um, Daryl Brown, who is a councillor with the Law Society of New South Wales, is with us. Uh, Mikhail Chong, who's chairman of Advanced Diversity Services. Elizabeth Delaney is with us, the General Secretary of the National Council of Churches um, in Australia. Greg Stone, the President, Universal Peace Federation of Australia. And uh, Richard Bronowski, President of the Australian Institute of International Affairs is here. So welcome um, to those people and thank you so much um, for the part that you play. Um, I would also like to um, thank uh, Mehmet Saral for the generous uh, sponsorship uh, that has made today's event uh, possible. So thank you, Mehmet, as well for your contribution. So now to the main, um, the main event, the main event. And uh, I am delighted to introduce uh, Dr. Kay Patterson, AO, uh, who is the Age Discrimination uh, Commissioner as today's um, keynote speaker. Just a few um, aspects of Kay's uh, background. So after leaving school at 15 and then managing a small business, uh, Kay returned to school and gained a BA Honours at the University of Sydney and a PhD in Psychology and a Diploma of Education at Monash University. She began her role as the Age Discrimination Commissioner in July 2016 and came into this role with strong involvement in issues affecting older people. Uh, Kay has served on a number of not-for-profit boards and voluntary positions, and currently she's the director of the Brockhoff Foundation and an honorary professional fellow at Monash University. I might add there that, you know, that quick summary doesn't actually um, give due regard, I think, to your parliamentary career, and I certainly remember in my time in aged care, you had a very significant role in terms of health and aged care, and uh, I'm sure that, that that whole issue of aged care um, and what that says for how we treat older people, particularly around the issue of elder abuse, I know is an issue that you want to bring out in your speech today. So the title of Dr. Patterson's talk today is Will You Still Need Me? Remember the old Beatles song? We're all showing our age now. <laughs> Will you still need me when I'm the, when I'm 64? <laughs> um, I wonder what he would have to say about that now. I, I wish he was here and we could ask him. <laughs> anyway, his famous song, which he released in 1966. Um, and at 1966, at the age of 16, the oldest, um, of Australian baby boomers were then turning uh, 20. Can you believe it? Uh, despite Paul contemplating turning 64, these boomers were on the cusp of adulthood and the inevitability of... Oh. I'm reading my notes here. So anyway, in, in, in Dr. Patterson's talk, she's going to discuss how this cohort, how this cohort of ageing boomers is doing now and what they're doing, and a focus on age discrimination and employment uh, and also on uh, elder abuse. So I have much pleasure in introducing Dr. Kay Patterson. Thank you. Thank you. 